Hi and welcome to another Postgres tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a new database. Um, it's really quick, it's really easy and you can have a, a new database up and running in a matter of seconds. Um, so the first thing you do or first thing you can do is if you open a PG admin session uh, create a new query window and if you query the system catalog PG database you will see on initial setup of any Postgres server there will be three default databases one Postgres this is the default one that's created when you create your database template zero this is a system database that you generally cannot connect to and template one this is the database that is used as a template for all new databases so when you create a new database you are in effect creating a copy of template one Okay, so if you create a terminal session and you connect yourself as your Postgres user. Now there are wrapper scripts that come pre-installed to create a database called CreateDB. If you just execute that and give the name of your database, go back to your query window, view your catalog, and there you can see your new database. Similarly, Go back to your terminal session. There is a wrapper called JobDB. If you, uh, you put the name of your database in, it will drop the database. And then view your catalog, and you can see it's gone. This is a great way if you really, really want to quickly and easily create a database and accept all the defaults as of template one. However, it doesn't allow you to edit them. So if you want to do that, you need to create or actually start a PSQL session and you need to create a database using SQL commands. The first thing you do is you issue a create database command followed by the name of the database. You can give the owner which by default is the user creating the database. You can create connection limits which by default is unlimited. There is the allow connections setting. By default, it is true, but you can create a database and no one can connect to. Table space by default is the default system table space. However, if you are a DBA who has partitioned their drives, you can actually point to any table space you wish. There is the is template command. Now, what this means is if you set this to true, you can use this database to create another database from. Uh, the default is false, however, I will set this to true. And now you can see our database. You refresh your system catalog. There you go. And there you can see the new database you've just created. And you can see here this flag is set to true. So if you ever want to use this as a, te as a template, you can create a new database and use the new database as the template. Go back to your system catalog and there you can see your new database. And that, in a quick and easy way, is how you create a new database. And uh, just to round it off, to drop database, you issue the drop database command, drop database. Okay, there you go, enjoy.